And his causeless mercy, <coughs> even his sprinkle, such is our heart, our mind, our body. Then we can chant what name like that. Our melting, we are coming, hair, standing. All the Asta Sattvic Vita, which has been told in Bhaktira Samishri. Please to try to develop our chanting, remembering, hearing like this. So, we should try to and try to bathe the mercy of Nityananda. So, Arkabeni Chandir Karuna Very 
one of five devotees, then I will know the power of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <coughs> and also, I will believe in name. That is so powerful. And he went to them and told, Oh, Jagai Madai. Chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, They heard, and in their Yes, it went down. And it was so much effect, but yet they saw it works. Nityananda Prabhu and Haridasa. Haridasa was so much far away from Nityananda Prabhu and Nityananda Prabhu just came away. And with red and big eyes, they saw it works. Oh, who are you? And then at once run after Nityananda Prabhu. I told them to. They took their pot, earthen clay pot, and ran after them. They turned on the problem. Right? It used to run to six years. But when that Thakur Basam fired, and he began to, like, do this. Oh, Nithyananda Prabhu is so bad. He has called the Ganja. But any house, there was there. And that type of thing. See, what this Nityananda Prabhu brought a very big danger, and we were to be killed there. No one was there to save us. Anyhow, he is lean and thin, so he escaped and ran away. But I was in danger. But by the mercy of Krishna, we are saved. From today, I will never go with him. And if I am going, then we will be killed. Then Adaita Chai told, Why you went with him? I know. There are two drunkards, Jagai Madhai, and also there are two more drunkards, Gaura and Nityananda. They are more drunkard than them. And I will see from tomorrow that four drunkards will be together and they will drink, drink more and more and they will dance and do. But you should not go. Then I just have to told. Don't cheat me, Prabhu. <coughs> I know. Gornitananda are drunkard of praying. And they will rectify the two demons. They will give them a pot of divine nectar. And all the men. Not only that. All Nodi will be made in this Next day, we can. The Prabhu again then went with Hajjata, again did with him. And then throw out one vessel. Before. Of wine. We can provide in your blood was coming. At once, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard from Krishna's and he came with life and life devotees and told, Oh, where chapter is? And chapter came and he was about to throw, but in the end Don't lose. Ram, in the shape of Ram, in the shape of Krishna, in the shape of Nishindare, we have done all these things. Till, and then you have given the liberation all. But in this past time, yes, sir, can do. You should only change their heart and be merciful. Be trained in their heart so that they can chant Hari Bol Hari Bol. Praman Hari Hari. And they should chant Hari Krishna Hari Krishna. At once, miracle. Thank you.
Chaitanya Mahaprabhu impressed Jedi. I heard that you have said Nityananda Prabhu. He was going to do more some nonsense. Except and he as he embraced at full of Krishna and began to weep and rolling on the When I told oh, why you are getting prank to him? What I have done offense? Mahaprabhu told go to Nityananda Prabhu and he <coughs> forgets everything. And I will give you also Krishna. He had once helped flight of the lotus feet of Nityananda Prabhu, weeping when weeping, crying, set me set. Then it can end the problem. Oh, forgive him. Everything you He requested Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He, Krishna, and at once Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, shot towards him and he became full of and began to cry and weep. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Station is there, there, or aim and object of our one is there. Not to be forever in four class or third classes, first classes. One is reading A, B, C, D. We have to go up. Especially those who are senior, you go to this. 
go from Tanisht Vaishnav to go to Madhyam Adhikari. Perhaps we will know Madhyam Adhikari. And after that, we will have to go Madhyam, 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 Uttam. And then entering in Uttam Bhagavat. And they will have the impact. And after that, by the way, Masya Pnikdhananda. We will see. But, Malinak Nityananda Prabhu Masya will not do. The Masya of Sanatana Prabhu, Rup Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami will do. All will come. Nityananda Prabhu, Masya is not uh, so easily. You will have to go to Nityan first to Rup and the Raghunath. And by them, they are mercy, Nityananda Prabhu mercy. Otherwise, no. That is very hard. The mercy of Nityananda. Right. Look, Ravna, mercy, we can know who is Nityananda Prabhu, who is Valdai Prabhu. What is Vrindavan? So if you want to know what is Vrindavan and what is Vrindavan, Krishna past times there and to realize what is uh, Sheva Kunja, you know, perhaps you know the name of Sheva. What is Sheva Kunja? In all other places, <coughs> Sudam Shikha, Shafa, Yasudam Ayyananda Baba, Sudam Subals, all are serving Krishna. In all places, gopis like to serve Krishna for Shiva Kunji A special place where Krishna serves Shivati Gadi. That is Shiva Kunji. When Shivati Gadi and gopis become tired, Krishna comes and says, oh, you are tired, and she is taking the Puttariya, Puttariya, you know, the Kambar, and washes there. Sweats. Oh, and I may say your face. So here Krishna is serving. In if Srimati Radhika is gone, is something like anger. Then he gives a float in the lotus feet of Krishna, uh, Srimati Gari. And tells, if I have done anything wrong, you should forget. In the Vrindavan, Krishna is not master, or Srimati Radhika is not master. But who is master? Praying. Virata Prem is the master in Vrindavan. Prem himself, himself dons. And by this Prem, in supervision of this Prem, Krishna also dons, gopis dons, all dons, Vrindavan dons, the heart of devotees dons, the gigants to dons, everybody. This is the mercy of Siddharu. And by that we can have the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu. Yog, Maya, Vrinda, this everything. That Prem is highest thing. Prem, Priyoga, Krishna, Sambandha. Krishna, who is Krishna? Sambandha. There is some relation with Krishna. And then he is called Madan Mohan. And when gopis used to serve Krishna, then he becomes Govinda. So relation with Govind is to serve Krishna. Like Sridham Subal or Mahajasoda or like this is the highest thing. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come to give this mission to one. Before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu there was only bhakti, no bhakti rash. Matvachat, Vishnu Swami, Nimbad, and Narad and all. Devotees. 
They used to do bhakti. But their bhakti was not bhakti of Russia. Once Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and he gave this thing to Rupa Goswami and he gave to Raghunath Das Goswami. And it became bhakti. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come only to give this mission to world and to test the Radha mood. Perhaps you know all who have his great Chaitanya Chaitanya and Parpars of Swami. This is by the most topest mission of Sri Chaitanya. Our whole disciplic orders, orchards, like Rupa Raghuna, Ji Goswami, Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami, Narottam Thaku, after that Vishwana Chakvarti Thaku, Pandevitya Roshan, Jagannath Dasa Bhaj Maharaj, Bhakti Vinod Thaku, Prabhupada himself, our Guru Dev and also Swami. Peace mission. Aim and object of the our life, not only our life, but aim and object of our serving to Krishna. What is this? Krishna Prem Prayoja. Gopis are affectionately serving Krishna. They are also happy. And Krishna is serving Gopis. He also loves Gopis. And Gopis love to Krishna. There are different two things. But we know from our Gurus that Radhika our gopis prem is so much superior, higher than Krishna Laksa. Perhaps you are understanding or not. Right? If you tell that we can again because that my English is so poor and length, I cannot give my you need more value. Yeah. Yeah. If they like, you can explain more. And if they to do anything, that is all here. Why you have not done any managing for this? So, without the mercy of Rupa Goswami, we cannot have all these things what I told. You know, Rupa Goswami, Sri Chaitanya Manu Bhishtam, Bhapitam Jena Bhutale, Swayam Rupa Kadamahiyam Dadati Sopadantikam. Sri Chaitanya Manu Bhishtam, Bhapitam Jena Bhutale. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has some desires here. Samud here, who is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? He is himself Krishna, that blood Krishna. And he wanted to some test more what he has tested in Krishna past time. What that was thing? Krishna thought that I am so beautiful. But Radhika is more beautiful than me.
I am so merciful, but Radhika is more merciful than me. I am also praying, but his prem is more. But yet, I know this. Radhika is my guru of praying. I am I was admitted in the school of Prem School of Srimati Radhika. There are professor Lalita Vishakha, all their professors. <coughs> so my Prem Guru is Srimati Radhika. And that is why he sent Uddhav to take admission in Gopi's this school. Then he will know something about Prem and then he will return to Mathura, then I can talk with him, all these things. Otherwise, none is qualified to speak about Prem, what is Prem. So, there, Rupa Goswami has taken this mode, he went, so Krishna is thinking that the mood of Srimati Radhika is called actually Mahabhava. And more than that, Aruda they would and all these things. I am not that thing. But I see that I see Srimati Radhika. I meet Radhika. But I don't become mad. But when Srimati Radhika sees me, hears me, my flow, then he becomes mad, actually mad. Why? I think that there is something in me which makes Srimati Radhika and all gopis mad. So I have something here. What is that? But if I am not that more of my how I cannot test all these things. So I should borrow the mood of Radhika. I should serve and make please and to have to borrow that Mahabhav. And then I will realize, I will see, I will see myself. I will test myself like Srimati Radhika. And to give something Unnata Ujjvala Rasa. And that is called Anarapita charing chirat karunaya vatiranaha kalo shamarapai tum munnata jagar shamsa bhakti si hariha pura sundar duti kadamba shandi pita shadaridaya kandare skurati me sachinandana. I'll bestow something, I'll sprinkle something from that. The unnata jagar rasa cannot be given to anyone because. It is the more wealth of Srimati Radhika. It can be tested. So he came to test all these things and to give a sprinkle of Kunnatva Jalrash Bhav to Jivai, for whom they may be qualified. So he gave it through the name Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare. Nam Prem Mala Gathi Parang Shabare. He made a garland of flowers. What are flowers? What are flowers? Shanta, Dasya, Shakta, Bastal and all kinds. <coughs> These are flowers. So different colors and big different smells and yeah, all beautiful sweet. And he, the Sutra, said, what was said? Prem. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Nam is like flowers. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna life. So, he gave it to all the flowers by name. That frame was given. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come to this world and if Ruth Goswami is not there, anyone could not understand that why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come to this world and what he is given to. 
end up not Goswami and all other Goswamis. So we are debted to Siddha Rup Goswami. Our whole discipline client after Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I mean, after Rup Goswami is debted to Siddha Rup Goswami. Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati came to begin this mission for him. He has so many, thousands and thousands of hands, like Mahavishnu. His one hand came from India here. Very long, long hand. And what was his hand? His hand first has mercy to this land and we will go tomorrow to that land. Krishna consciousness, it touches to this world, western world. Here. That. And that has name is called Swami Sishila Bhakti Vedan Swami and you call all like Prabhupada. And this has been so generous, so gentle, so sweet. And Godless mercy he has. We cannot glorify him because we don't know that brain. If he knew you that frame, then we can have What we are doing, telling, or he has priest name. That is not such name. And how? You like to know that Rupa Goswami view. You know that one thing. Tabakatha Amritam Tapta Jeevanam Kavidhiritam Kalmashapaham Shabarna Mangalam Srimadatatam Bhubhidhidam Tite Bhurida Jana It is from Rashpanchat Hari Dishishpa. Gopi began mad taking this. Also Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Hearing this is a slok in Puri from the mouth of Pratap Rudra. He told, who is he that he is making here and getting so much nectar in my ears? Who are you? His eyes were closed and tears were coming. And he had like a mad person. He told that, I have nothing to give you. Nothing. I am Akinchan. I am so much poor. <coughs> I have nothing to do, but only I can give you my yeah. and brace and it and with care he washed him. So this is not is so good. But those who are telling all these things to us without anything not taking anything in gain, only by mercy they are giving. Krishna Katha was indeed they are Gurida <coughs> Jana. Gurida means in this world they are most uh, super donor. Donor? Benefactor. What part? Generous. 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 So much generous. <coughs> Those who have only a book named Srimad Bhagavad Gita, having good Sikha here, having three folded Tulsi Mala, tears are coming, and speaking these slogs, and telling that you should also chant Krishna name. He is so much generous in the whole world. So Swami was like this. Anyone has called, anyone has not called him, his Guru Dev sent him. And he mercifully came to this land where only wine, wealth and what? Women were prominent. He came here. All wants to make money, 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 nothing else. And formally, 
sense gratification. They don't know who is Atma, who I am, why I have come to this world, what is our duty, and where to go. No passport, nothing, no visa, nothing. In darkness we are sinking. Mercifully he came to this land. And if you do, you know that how miracles in a very little, some days he changed. So many devotees like you, not only you, hundreds and thousands of devotees. Those who were happy, they became happy. <laughs> Those were lying down and taking mind, I have I came and I saw something I knew. They become all happy who were touched by even his words. So his most tender generous. So this only one hand did so miracle. And if two, three, four handers then even come and thought miracle could have been done, I don't I cannot tell. So, without the mercy of Rupa Goswami, we cannot see Vindavan and he are all these things. He has given everything in his books. But you know, that when there is a child of five years or two years, even one year, he cannot be given everything. His father or mother gets something in box and locks. Then he will be, when he will be matured, then he will be qualified for taking all these things. If he will give anything, he will ruin everything. So he let him some nature. So, by words he could not give them all these things. But if he kept everything in his treasure, that is in literature, in his books, he should try to open. But you know that the key is in the hands of Bhagavat. There are two Bhagavats, Granth Bhagavat and Bhagavat is superior, but the key is with devotees. So as the Hindi Mani is one of high devotees, surrendered devotees, having shamed in the person of this frame, he can open the door. <laughs> So, he has kept everything which, which Rupa Goswami has in Bhakti Rasami Sindhu and all books. I have never read the, uh, all the books because I did not know English. I have not gone to uh, university and I have, not. I have read only in Haridas Thakur University. You know Haridas Thakur University? Only in the, the schools of he don't knew A, B, C, D. So I am like this. So I could not. But now, being in the touch of these devotees, and speaking very little, and also understand. I cannot. Now I read. I see now a heart. He has given all the treasures. Upadeshamrit is there. In the the purpose of Swamiji, you can see all the things which were, we can see in Rupa Goswami. So, I am, I am always hold up the Rupa Goswami and Rupa Goswami. And tell something about this. In what process we can go to Vrindavan and follow Rupa Goswami? But some persons are telling us, oh, we are, we are no, we are not qualified, we were not qualified, and we will not, never be qualified to live here all these things. But I think that it is quite wrong. He has kept up for us, when we will be much qualified, that we can test and we can go to that place. Why Rupa Goswami has written? Why Krishna Das Goswami has written? Why Vyastar has written this Bhagavatam? For us, for coming generations. So 
so by the Mashiach Swami. We can know all these things, what was the mission of Swami and Masni. Mashifully he came to feel the Without any invitation he came. I know that when he came and he wrote me a letter that I am reached here by navigation, uh, Sindhya navigation and I am going to some park with my only tata and I sing there Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityam Sri Advaita Gada Shivas Adi Sri Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu I know him from 46, 1946 or 1947. I was in so much touch to him. I have served him when our good day, Nitya Lila, Pravishka Mungrishnu Bhasi, Sunnutri Siddhanta, Bhakti Pratyanta, Sabhasana, was giving him a renounce order. I know many, so many things. I have arranged everything there. I have sent him all Katal, Matan, and his all books here in New York. After so much labor, I became ill at that time in sending all there. I have cooked for him. I have served so many ways. Sometimes they used to write me that, oh, I like Mathura Peda. Peda is a very beautiful, sweet. And I began, used to send him 10 kilos, 10 kilos, 10 kilos. <laughs> I have sent him so many ditties of Radha Krishna and Gaurnitya Ananda. So many pairs. When he used anything to require, I used to help him. He told me that you should come with me here. I very honorably told that I am now sucking my guru there. And he is not here, he is in Bengal and charge of all. <coughs> so later and I made my It was just to so, sir. But I know that his words will not be false. So after so many years, uh, he has dragged me here. I have only come to see how Marathi in very short time he has spread his mission to whole world. His books have been translated in 40 languages of the best languages of all the world, his Gita and His so many little booklets have also been published everywhere. He has met so many center, preaching center. He also told me that I have now established Krishna Consciousness, International Krishna Consciousness. So now I have come to see these places. These places are pilgrimages, not only that Maha Mahatvika. So I have come to touch the lotus dust of Swamiji here to glorify him and also to help the devotees who have been neglected. I have heard that and heard and become so worried that so many, 90% of devotees have left this home. Want that they should again come and Krishna consciousness is so pure and again with the same enthusiasm they should display every family. I have come to serve them, I have come to help them and to see all these things. I have not come to create any problem or anything to anyone. I was in this mood, I am in this mood, I will ever be in this mood. I am not collect, I am not come to collect money, I am not collect any disciple, nothing else. 
what the fuck is part of that? My mission is, I think my mission is so successful. My last television is in New York, where he used to, in any park, and he used to sing this kirtan. I must go there. Tomorrow morning we will go. I pray all, I request all to be there at 7 o'clock in morning with so many kartals and khols and guns. We will go and dance and serve Swamiji. He will see here and he will see that we are all there in their time. He will be so happy. So, Rupa Raghuna Sahabhe Jugal Pariti means divine couples, divine love. We are not realizing, not thinking, going deeply, so we are not. We are involved in worldly toxic expression of horror and pain. We know that we have known so much faith that men can give everything. So we are trying so much here and there to make money, to make pratishtha, to make our knowledge more, so we are going to colleges and to become PhD, DD. We have no faith. Other if people faith, like Srinivas Acharya, you know, Srivas Pandit, once he clapped like one, two, three. Mahaprabhu told the five part clapping this side three times, one, two, three. He told that you are asking me that you have nothing to take anything. There are no rats in your homes. You know where rats are where rats are found. Then but if you have no grain so rats are not there. And rain falls every rain drops goes to his home. Because no roof at all. We have no water pot. We have nothing. So how you will maintain your life? He told me, one, two, three. <coughs> I have no nothing to eat. Nothing, no nothing to have in Mahaprasana. I will fast one day. Second day also. Third day, I will fast. And if for today nothing, then I'll jump in and give up my life. Mahaprabhu told that. Nothing to about to worry. If Lakshmi himself, Lakshmi means the goddess of fortune, wealth, if he will take some Horse and beg door to door, but you will have had not to beg anywhere. Because those who are chanting name, name is himself Krishna, the husband of this Lakshmi. Who is has the Lakshmi? Husband? Narayan. And Narayan, Narayan is the manifestation of that Krishna. Not Krishna, but Baldev. And Baldev is the manifestation of this so Krishna is supreme and who are who are telling and chanting Krishna, they cannot be hard. 
they cannot die without. Krishna will come and take something on his head and he will go to death to them. You know, one history that there was a devotee named Arjun Mish. He was so poor. He had nothing to eat, nothing to, but anyhow he used to go to bed. One day he, he was writing something, explanation of Srimad Bhagavad Gita, and this slow came. Anna, Ananna, Chintayanto, Mangji, Jana, Pati, Pasate, Joga, Chema, Bahamya. This slope was that, that those who are engaged totally in chanting, remembering Krishna, hearing me, the past tense of Krishna, I will go and serve them what they want. If they want food, I will go and carry this food to them. If they want clothing, I will go and serve them. Everything I will go. He cut that line that Krishna cannot come because he has no shape. Why will he come? He can uh, give inspiration to others than he can bring. But Krishna will not come himself. And so he will take a red pen and, and went to wait. But today nothing was received. He returned empty-handed and he was about to come. In the meantime, I have had a little boy, aged only twelve, so beautiful. Some, this was like um, clouds and very sweet speaking, he came and or O oh Mother, O oh Mother, open the door. At once the wife of that Brahmin came and opened. He saw that there was a very little as it was, so beautiful. And he was taking with some sweats. And he was so tired. He told the say, Who are you? I'm the disciple of Gurudev. Got the technique, but he told that I am Gurudev. And Gurudev has sent these all these things, so much atta, flour, rice, chawal, dal, ghee, maida, bhura, sweets, milk, everything he has. I could not carry. It became late. Then he took. Hey, crash. Why you are making late? You are making late. Go at once. She, my bag, and back we saw that. About uh, red <coughs> cloud was coming. She became she became furious and let he come and he will come. I will repeat. Why he did so? He told that, oh boy coming and I am making some preparations and after taking you should go. Otherwise no. But yes, I am wet. And he began to take something from that and he began to prepare good chapati with ghee or chawl, dal and all others. In the meantime the Brahmin came and told them, Oh, open the door. He went furious there. Why you have done so mistake? given so much weight and load to this boy, who is the boy? Are you he is sitting in your disciple, so beautiful, as a devout pearl, where faith will and faith. Oh, I have no disciple at all. Who has come? Has he come on? And he went and began to search, but he was not there. Who was he? He was Krishna. They both began to be. And Brahman brought his book, told that I bring my that book, and he saw that the reddish line was vanished. Oh. To, to make him understand that 
what is Gita is all true. So we should faith on Krishna name, name Krishna name can give anything. It is more merciful than Krishna himself. But we have no faith like this. Haridas Thakur has it. All the Goswami have this faith. We should try. Then if trying, uh, if having so much faith, then only Krishna chanting like Haridas Thakur three lakhs and always remembering him and everything will come and we will can see the love. So we should pray to Goswami. Rupa Raghunatha Paje Raghunatha generous he was, how merciful he was, he can tell also about these things. <coughs> so, Maharaj is always my well-wisher. He's always putting me in some position. I become purified. Um, he's also flattering way beyond the output about my purity. Microphone. I can't hear you. Sorry. Mara says he doesn't know flattery, but I disagree with him. He's, he's flattering me by saying Mara is pure Vaishnava. So, uh, he has many times flattered me. Most astoundingly, once he called me his old colleague. <laughs> I'm very happy that some, somewhere he's included me in his entourage. <laughs> so, uh, I spoke many wonderful things. Uh, I know everyone couldn't hear everything that he was saying, but there are tape recorders here, and there are many devotees. Uh, I seem to recall something uh, similar that our Guru Maharaj, Swami Maharaj, Nisi Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada was saying, in relation to how this uh, Brahman, he has cut off the slope, and then this has come. So this is, uh, Srila Prabhupada was saying, like that, maybe someone like uh, Chaturani would remember that. I don't remember exactly, but the words of the Mayavari, they are like the whip on the body of Krishna. Uh, actually, he cannot be whipped, but uh, still, we, we are saying that. that he has 
cut with the red pen, so the red line. So who gives this impersonal commentary to Bhagavad Gita by his speech? His speech is very cutting. <coughs> very painful to Krishna and more, more painful to the devotees. The devotees cannot, cannot tolerate that. So we're very happy that Maharaj has come to New York. He has saved the best for last. I told him, you're, you're going, Mars, to the Big Apple. Big Apple. This is the Big Apple, Mars. Yes. So Swami Mars came first to the Big Apple and began his, his preaching mission here. It has always remained as a special place uh, in the hearts of all the devotees, devotees worldwide. So about Srila Prabhupada's coming here, I want to say something in relation to that. Uh, is about seva, service, and uh, service necessity, or the necessity of service. When service becomes most valuable. There are many branches of service. Uh, this, uh, shravanam, kirtanam, smananam, bandhanam, dasham, sakyam, patmanivedam nine branches in devotional service. These are performed by devotees in various stages of devotional service. And we are studying that in our books. Um, but more importantly is that we try to follow that. And Maharaj is told, one cannot remain a Kanishtadakari forever. There's absolutely no credit to our Guru Maharaj to say that we are always on the lower level. There's absolutely no credit to him. Only we can give credit to our Guru Maharaj when we come to the higher level. There is no question of being a Prabhupada Nuga or a follower of A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada or for that matter even a follower of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur Prabhupada or a follower of any Acharya in our Sampradaya unless one has become Rupa Nuga. Unless we have become a follower of Sri Rupa, we have not really become a follower of our Guru Maharaj. Is it right, Maharaj? His message is to make us Rupa Nuga. Actually, we can say Prabhupada Nuga, but this is not pleasing to him. I never hope I never heard any disciple of Srila Bhaktisiddhan Sarasati Thakur tell oh, we are Prabhupada Nuga. They are told we are Rupa Nuga. Same wine. Same wine in different bottle. A miracle done your divine grace, Srila Prabhupada wrote. And, uh, so, service is valued according to the necessity. Krishna does not like complacency amongst his devotees. And that is our all-time classic disease here in the Western world. We become complacent. No? Oh, Prabhupada gave so many books. We don't need more. But actually, who's reading those books? And even who's reading those books which sections of those books are we reading? We're reading Chaitanya Charitamrita, but which section? Mahaprabhu eating much prasadam in the bags of Raghavan Pandit. Oh, and we're reading. This one we're reading. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu touring South India, going from place to place to place, spreading Harinam. But Ramananda Sambhad, that we're not reading. The talks of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and, 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 and actually there are five conversations. Ramananda Sambhad, uh, Rupa Shiksha, Sanatan Shiksha, Prakasananda Saraswati, Sarubam Bhattacharya. Five conversations. That is that philosophy. Huh? People are telling us that is philosophy. Huh? But without that philosophy, we will not become eligible to taste any ras or any brain. And when that philosophy comes, then we're yawning. We have something to do, some place to go. There are hundred, hundred, hundred slokas in the Chaitanya Charitamrita that have come from the very lips of Sri Radhika and Lord Govinda, but we're not reading them. And when reading them, we're falling asleep. Then we're telling everything is in Prabhupada's books. Then we have got some type of lethargy. To break that lethargy, Krishna is sending his men. 
Maharaj has come to help us break this lethargy. Sri the Sridhar Maharaj, our Shikshu Guru, he used to say, you are, you are sons of nectar. You are born of nectar. You are meant to taste nectar. Where are you without nectar? Simply on the desert of material existence. So it, it does not suffice to say, we have enough, we have enough. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu never told like that. Mahaprabhu did not say, oh I have so much. He may have said, oh I had, now I have lost that. Six Goswamis are roaming through Vrindavan. And they are wondering, wondering, always searching. What is the slope? Hey Rad, hey Rajadeva, ki chalavite. Uh, and our Srila Prabhupada, he came here chanting that sloka. Uh, he came here singing Sat Goswami Ashtakam. And weeping. Uh, and weeping. Once I heard my god sister Jadarani, uh, two, three years ago, <clears throat> I went to a War Purnima festival in Mayapur. Not as an official member, but I wandered there in the night. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a Prabhupada member of Billy and Knight. And many devotees assembled in a pandal. So I just sat in the corner, somewhat in the shadows in the evening, and watched the proceedings. Many older devotees were there and one god brother from previously from Australia, Madhubisa Prabhu. He was the master of ceremony giving the microphone to various devotees. And each and every, at least on that night, each and every remembrance of Srila Prabhupada resulted in laughter. Resulted in laughter in happy times and good remembrances. By and by, the microphone came to Jadaran. Then I thought, I must hear something more from Jadarani because she has come in the association of our Sri Padmarayan Maharaj. So she must say something more than what we've heard so far. And I was recalling also that just that very day, I had uh, gone to Darshan uh, to our Bhakti Pramod Puri Maharaj at his ashram at Gopinath Gorina. And I asked him something about Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. And just mentioning the name of his Guru Maharaj. Uh, he entered into very, very deep mood. Actually, I asked him, are there any tape recordings of Saraswati Thakur? He became very intense in his mood of remembrance of his Guru Maharaj. He looked at me like I was the grand fool on the, on the earth. And he told me, Baba, Guru Maharaj Saraswati Thakur is here in front of us always. So that evening I was remembering that incident with Srila uh, Prabhupada Puri Maharaj. So I thought, what type of remembrance is it of our Guru Maharaj that always ends in laughter? That is not sufficient, actually. Although we will remember these happy times. But long after his departure, we should try to remember something very substantial and very deep about him. So then our Jadarani began to just uh, tell a story which Srila Prabhupada told her, maybe 1967. It was a story about Jayadev Goswami, who was writing Gita Govinda. And he began to write a verse. That verse begins, Dehi Pada Varsha. Then he thought, what is this? Where does this impure thought come from? He abandoned his writing. This shloka also telling, as Maharaj said, what is Seva Kunj? How Govinda has served the lotus feet of Sri Radhika and Gopis. So like that, in a very strong way, Krishna is begging desperately Sri Mati Radharani for her forgiveness uh, and for her foot dust. So Jayadev Goswami thought, what is this? This is some impure thought has come within me, he abandoned me, right? The Prophet told, was telling the story to Jadarani. And as the story was unfolding, hmm, at least it was my perception that she was trying to take the remembrance beyond just the normal remembrance. That actually our Guru Maharaj came here with something very sweet and very divine, but he could not find the proper ears 
to receive the full-fledged meaning of his message. If someone studies analytically the tapes and the activities of our Srila Prabhupada, he begins talking about Vrindavan, Sri Rupa Goswami, uh, Radha Govinda. You just see even those recorded lectures on Radhastami, and you will see a gradual present progression from the higher to the lower. Until his last day, simply he's telling, life comes from life, not from matter. You understand what I'm saying? He came with the message of Sri Rupa, but the Adhikari, to hear that and to uh, understand that, that was lacking. So, according to the necessity, he gave and he gave and he gave and he gave. And in his last breath, actually, he was giving uh, that uh, Bhaktivedanta Institute and arranging so many things, how the scientists should come to this understanding that life comes from life, life not from matter. But we are thinking that this is a sum and substance of Krishna consciousness. Vegetarianism, life comes from life, you're not this body, karma. These are all Mayavad and Buddhistic theories also. Join the Saraswati, a country forum. He'll agree with you cent percent on that. Furthermore, we are now telling everyone that we came from the eternal pastimes of Krishna to rot here in this material world. And Jayanda Saraswati, at Kanchi, first class, he will agree with you. Yes, your Golok, your Vaikuntha, it is a fallible place. It is wrought with disaster. But our Brahma, our Brahma, nah, then you will find the ultimate peace, ultimate rest. Basically, the principles in Mayavad and the, these things, this is not Krishna consciousness actually. Even our four regulative principles, we wouldn't think to live without them, but you can follow them till the end of time and not produce any Krishna bhakti. Any Krishna bhakti whatsoever. But same time, if you want to be sahaja and rascal and do all nonsense things, still, we will not see Krishna bhakti there either. We give the example of Pundarik Vidyanidhi. He would become guru of Gadadhar Pandit. When Gadadhar Pandit first came to see him, what he saw? Pundarik Vidyanidhi had a turban, jewels, costly perfumes, beautiful bungalow, smoking a hookah also. Gadadhar <laughs> Pandit thought, thought only, only thought. What type of a Vaishnava is this? No Kundimala, no Sika, no Tilak, no trappings and dressings of the Vaishnava. Oh, suddenly there he possibly made some offense. And then Maharaj, who was by his side? To take him there. And Mukunda chanted one sloka from Bhagavad. Huh? A whole bhakti. Then you can find these slokas. I'm not good at remembering many slokas. Please excuse me. But. Then he saw a transformation in Pundarik Vijayanidhi. He became mad, throwing his turban from his head, breaking his cloth and his jewelry, smashing his water pot, pounding his feet, and, and crying. Uh, and, and crying, oh, what is the wonder, what is the mercy of my Lord? Because he has given such great mercy to the Putana demon. She has come to kill Krishna. And he is so kind. She has come as mother. He has extracted little bit of reality from her approach. And he has given her all success in Vatsalya Ras. So then Gadadhar Pandit realized, oh, this is a Vaishnava. But generally, the Vaishnava is coming like Maharaj. He is in good dress and tilak and sikka and and showing us the way in that way. But that is not the standard of a Vaishnava, only these rules. <coughs> only we are telling everyone, simply chant 16 rounds daily, follow four regular principles. You will develop the perfection of life. Yes, that is true, because if you do that, sincerely, that will lead you to other stages in Krishna consciousness. And then your life goes upside down, and goes backwards and so many problems begin to happen um, you have to leave so many things um, in order to, to, to achieve that so uh, Krishna very much values the service of his devotees according to necessity 
and one who is preaching amongst the devotees, Krishna says, is very dear to him. And one who comes to awaken us from our, our lethargy in Krishna consciousness and to, uh, to pursue vigorously the lotus feet of Krishna at Vrindavan, not just anywhere. We're of a particular type of devotion, devotion in Vrindavan. We're not for Dwarka, actually. We're not for Vaikuntha. One devotee recently said to me, if I can get Vaikuntha, I'll be very happy with that. <laughs> I said, why? You are a Prabhupada man. You're always telling me. You are the Prabhupada man. I am the outside man. But I can tell you that Prabhupada is not in Vaikuntha. So why you want to go to Vaikuntha? And also Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not in Vaikuntha. And Nityananda Prabhu is not in Vaikuntha. So how can we be satisfied with Vaikuntha? We cannot be satisfied. Satisfaction is our enemy. We must always hanker uh, more and more in the line of Sri Rupa. And that was the teaching of A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Not simply chant, dance and be happy. It is happiness. Someone told Swami Maharaj looks very sad in one photo. He told, no, it is great happiness. Huh? Okay. Uh, no. So, what service Maharaj is doing for our Srila Prabhupada and for the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will be co for coming on this world tour in his advanced age and taking all difficulties. He's getting supreme mercy. He's getting the mercy of his Guru and his Guru Varga. He's getting the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sri Nityananda Prabhu, whole bunch of tattva. All members of the uh, Gaudiya Sampradaya giving mercy, and all members of Goloka also giving their mercy. So what we should do, Maharaj will go away in a few days. Again become complacent. Oh, I have heard from Sadhu. Yes, we have heard from Sadhu. Now we must become thirsty after that. Many of you should take the opportunity and follow immediately to India. Those that cannot should group together, make your Sangha. Uh, and, and not simply for what we call um, dollars, diplomacy, and despotism. Not for these things, but for the real purpose of Krishna consciousness. Saraswati Thakur once said at a Mayapur function, so many people came, very nice speeches, of course, Maharaj may not say that now, but Saraswati Thakur said, please, now don't cheat me. Maharaj has put before you the wares of the spiritual world. Those things which Prabhupada said, don't show to people, <coughs> ordinary people. He has put an, a sample of the very high wares that are being sold in the marketplace of the Holy Name. For Haridas Thakur is the Supreme Acharya where merchants are Rupa and Sanatana and Raghunathas and Bhakti Manoha Thakur. He has shown the wares. But it is sad that in the name of Srila Prabhupada, many people are denying these things. One very old devotee said, you know, those are the people who say that serving Radharani is more important than serving Krishna. So I thought, well, which camp do you belong to? <laughs> and maybe he's with Chandravali. <laughs> and let me just say one little thing before I stop talking. Maharaj, in this place, there is Radha Govinda. Maybe we cannot see, but there is Radha Govinda, deities that Swami Maharaj brought here. And he called as Radha Govinda. No, this one's... No, no, no. The little ones. The little ones you sent. Then one big ones. The uh, Gayatri Devi Rajmata at Jaipur, uh, at Govindaji's temple, in the, in the Mahal, in the palace, she had some big deities of Radha Govinda. And when Swami Maharaj made a program there in 1971 or 2, then she was very charmed and she gave those. Then they came from here. And then So anyway, I don't want to cheat you more because I'm taking Maharaj's time and all so. Enough time. So maybe there's some questions devotees would like to ask Maharaj or whatever you desire Maharaj. I'm so much fortunate to serve Swami Maharaj. 
There's so many ways. In his last days, perhaps he was there, uh, so many devotees were there. He called me, I want there. The very day when he was departing from this world to his Master Radha and Govinda Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda. And he took my hand in his hand, waiting something. And he told that I am so happy to have you. I have some wishes you can fulfill it. I want that you should give my samadhi within your own hands with Vedic months, I know that you are so much as qualified and experienced in these things. There were so many God brothers of Swamiji and all senior JBC members also were there in front of me. He told me, he also told me that after my going, will also manage my last Mahotsa, you know, my separation eh? festival. You also advise them to give some donations to all the temples as you like, what should be given. Yes, it depends on me. One thing more I want to you that you should be always helpful to my disciples. I brought them from various countries from whole world. But I know that they are like child. You should support, you should nourish them, and we should try to train also them. I told that I am your disciple. I know that you are my Shiksha Guru from very beginning. So I will carry your all orders. I am fortunate to carry your orders my my head. And after that, when I came from there, he could not speak a word to anyone. This was the last words. And he departed from this world forever. But I know, I told that all the disciples were there that you should not think that he has left his body and he died. He is, even today here, if you will show honor, honorable and sincere, he will inspire you in all these things and his mercy will come to you. So don't think that he is dead. He is still alive and he is for ever he is here. So then think that he had become orphan. He is so merciful and he will get mercy inspired here and here. So you should try to fulfill his mission what he has begun. I think that his mission is more to do. He has done something. And something he has left as a remnant for you. So as a remnant you should serve him and carry his orders. Don't quarrel among you. Don't misbehave any god brother. Try to honor all who have taken shelter of his Lord's feet. And they should be honored. Otherwise everything will be ruined. Don't criticize each other. Swamiji told that, oh, listen, what good things he has given to you, you should remind of all these things. So I am so much fortunate to carry his, I followed his, carried his orders, I gave him samadhi and also melanin, everything, everything. And when some case came against, court case against, I fully supported this. I have never told any word against them. 
I will never do. I will always help them. I will al always help my sir, Swamiji, like my Guru Devi Siddha Bhakti Vida, Bhakti Siddha, Pragyan Lisa I know that they are, they are both from the same rank. Shiksha Guru and Diksha Guru are same. We should try to undergo all the Vaishnava also. If you want to serve Swamiji, don't criticize any Vaishnava who is even in Kanishta Vaishnava. If he is the disciple of disciple, even he, they should be honored. Because there are family of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, family of Swami. And if you are not following all these things in teachings, then we are not serving Swamiji accurately. So we should try to honor him, not to do uh, Guru Avakya. If you are not following all these things correctly that you are doing, yeah. Guru Avakya. This is the honor of Swamiji. So we should know all these things. I am happy to hear Nishing Maharaj. He told so beautiful things. And I am seeing that Swamiji has brought me here to show his all the things which has done so miraculous. So I am thinking that my mission is successful. Vaishnavas from various places have went here. And I am requesting them that you are devotees, they are devotees. You should show me where Swamiji used to see, where he used to see, where he is. <coughs> Hip is too happy. <laughs> Where he was here, I want to hear and to know all these things. Because senior disciples like him, there are so many disciples. Where is Satyaraj Prabhu? I request also Satyaraj Prabhu to lead me and to tell me where and how and help me also. I want to take the fit dust of Swamiji here. So I want to request all to do kirtan there with so many madans, kartals, we go and dance and see and serve Swamiji and go pramanam any kirtan. Where is uh, you should come at once. <coughs> Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Adwaita Kadadha Shri Vashari Oh uh -huh. 
ठाकुर <laughs> श्री जगन्नाथ दास बाबूजी महाराज की अनंत ज्योति भाई स्वयं की जाए नाम चल हरि नास्ता कोर की जाए सब को स्वयं प्रभु की जाए प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण जाई धन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री आदित्य गदाधर श्री बस हरि गोर भक्त में की श्री श्री राधा गोविंद गो गोविंद श्याम कुंद राधा कुंद गिरि गोवर्धन की श्री वृंदावन धाम की श्री माय गोर धाम की धाम की श्री गुरुदेव की श्री हनुमान की श्री तो सिंहारानी की श्री वृंदेव की श्री भक्ति देव की श्याम देव भक्त में की और कोई संग